cover my dark circle thank you dad that he gave me I used LA girl pro concealer so you see do you see how important this is this is like if this doesn't work out I've used this as foundation so how dare you come out with a foundation and it not be good how dare you disrespect us like that Welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda What? Okay, guys, so is this is big business. Like, this, this for me is like one of the most important days of the year. This is big. Guys, I can do the cheapest eyeshadows. I can do the cheapest lipstick. Don't even talk to me about blush. If it came off the street, if it was cute and I could wear it, I would. Like, it's that serious. But when it comes to skincare and foundation and anything that's gonna go on my skin, oh, I am willing to break off the quaint, the dollar dollar bill. So, this is really, you know, this is big. It's very rare that I wear a drugstore foundation or um, concealer ever. Now, I never do the concealers. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like inexpensive uh, concealers. There's one, one concealer that I wear religiously every time I wear makeup. And that is LA Girls Pro Concealer. I also correct with LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I only use this one when I'm highlighting, but on a regular basis when I just need to cover my dark circles, thank you dad, that he gave me, I use LA Girl Pro concealers. So you see? Do you see how important this is? This is like, if this doesn't work out, I've used this as foundation. So how dare you come out with a foundation and it not be good? How dare you disrespect us like that? Ooh, almost cursed. So they came out with some foundation. They have 15 shades, but then they have a white one just to use if you need to lighten uh, one of the foundations that you purchase. But they basically have 16 shades of 15 that you actually wear. Okay, well, whatever. I picked up three. I got 652, 653, and 654. So I picked up three, and, um, and I'll show you later on when I do the demo how I determined which one I would actually go with. But before we do that, let's get the business. So it says, the Pro Con a Coverage High Definition Long Wearing Illuminating Liquid Foundation is ideal for a flawless looking, full coverage finish. Lightweight formula is comfortable for an all day feel. Paraben free formula with added antioxidants helps hydrate and improve the skin's appearance. Now available so, to extend the color. I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> Like I'm nervous. No, like no, seriously. Like, I got like I have like little things going on in my stomach, little butterflies because I want this to be so good. I want it to be good. I need it to be good. I ride with you. I die for you. I'm with you. Like are we here? I have backups. These are backups to my backup. So let's see. What's up, okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. LA girl that it means something to me like this means something to me like if they don't work like if these are not good I got three colors here I got 54 652 and 653 so we're gonna start with these two and we're gonna put this one down so we're gonna test these out first one is the 653 and it has a pump it does have a pump you know I'm really bad about it don't have a pump this has a pump test her and I'm comparing it to my neck I think the 54 one yeah 54 so, which happens to be the darkest shade that I got. They do have, I think all together it's like 15 shades. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today, which happens to be the darkest one that I picked up. 
kind of anticipating that I would use probably the one in the middle but I got this one so maybe I'll go back on and uh, get the next darkest one so then this one be in the middle we'll see so I am going to use and it's filthy I'm going to use my it cosmetics bye bye pores primer because they said that this is an, is an illuminating um, foundation now let's let's be very clear I am a dry girl and you know I'm not mad at that but and I already cleansed and um, moisturized and all that stuff here we go so I'm gonna put a few put two pumps on the back of my hand see it, it blends in with my hand my skin my my hands pretty well so let's see and I'm going to use my large body beauty blender this is for the body I only use it for my face though take it we're gonna do one side first and yes my beauty blender is damp So with just one application, you can kind of see the difference of like two different people. Um, with one application, I would say the finish is beautiful. I love the illuminating thing got going on. If you're an oily person, you definitely want to use like a mattifying primer before you use this because you will glow. I love that. Um, with that being said, I love the skin-like finish that I'm getting. It looks very skin-like. For a $10 foundation, I'm not mad at it. Mad at it. I'm noticing really quickly is that my smile line is already developing and I haven't had it on for not even a full minute. So it's a little concerning. Right off the bat, I would give it a eight. Yeah. Do you see that finish? Now remember, right now, this is not full coverage for me. This is definitely medium coverage um, I could see myself just doing that little light application on an everyday basis just to get out the house that is beautiful I have no problem with that so now I'm gonna finish this other side and then we're gonna go in for another application so as you can see that's just one application and it's really nice <laughs> it's really nice I mean your skin you can tell there's some form of coverage but it's not doesn't look like paint but I actually have to say I really do like the finish um, I would not use an illuminator underneath this it would be way too much you can see right here like it look damn near looks like I have on a highlight for me personally I like that I want to now go in, like I said, this is medium coverage. I am more of a full coverage girl. I'm on medium coverage on a regular day. Like I would do this on a regular day, throw on some concealer and go out the door. Um, but I'm going to add one more coat for a more fuller coverage. Right off the bat, I will say I love the finish because I'm a dry girl. If you're a wet girl, <laughs> if you're oily and you oil a lot, I personally, for some, for me who loves dewy skin, who loves illuminating skin, skin that just looks healthy, healthy looking skin, I'm here for it. Now, you know, let's see if it plays well with its own family. And I'm gonna go in and uh, let's do some concealing. So we're gonna use the LA Girl Concealer and Fawn. I have to first correct. Can you see that little bit of darkness? So, which I have to say, it covered quite well. Like if I was just going out the door, I would be okay with just going out like this. But for this purpose, I am going to beat the face the way I usually do, and I'm going to color correct. What am I pulling out? The orange LA Girl Correct. So you see how this is big. If this foundation doesn't work out, 
I'm gonna be so mad. But if it does work out, okay. Now we're gonna use fawn. I'm nervous. Because I want the most natural look. I just want that area that's slightly highlight highlighted. Okay, so let me finish. I'm going to set this with my Sasha Buttercup and I'll be right back after I finish my fights. My fights. <laughs> okay guys, so this is my face after I finish beating it. And this is what the foundation is looking like with my powder, my setting powder for my foundation. And I still have quite a lot of voluminosity um, that I love. now. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did add a little extra. You know, I clearly do have my highlight, and I highlighted this when I say like this much. I did a very, I like a barely touch my highlight because you really just don't need a lot of it here. I get that corner, I don't get, I get that corner. This is, this is my face after everything, and I think it looks pretty damn good, I have to say for a $10 damn foundation. I'm just saying, you get these results with a $56 damn foundation. Yes, I do. I use a lot because I can't stand the cake face. Which I didn't have. But let's see. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Okay guys, so this is my face after I finish the beat down the And what I will have to say, it's been, I've had it on now for about an hour and um, I, we have to try the transfer test. What I will say is that it doesn't dry very quickly. It definitely needs some time to set um, by itself. And I'm not even talking about with just a, um, if you set it with powder. I'm talking about like just the foundation. It needs its own few minutes, five to 12 minutes to kind of really just set because it will continue to move before you try to apply other um, makeup. Now, it played very well with its cousin. The cousin is the concealer. It played well with family. Um, and everything else it did very well with but like I said it's because I kind of know makeup a little bit so I noticed that it clearly needed to kind of just not be touched for a while um, this is my towel let's see how we do okay only like the setting powder came off but there's no major marks in the foundation so once you let the foundation set it pretty much is good. I really, really. I really like it, guys. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It definitely gives you a skin like feel. If you are oily, I think you will like it too. I just know that you need to prep your skin for the gods prior if you're an oily girl. I don't think that because illuminating and dewy are two different things dewy makes you look like like you're working out illuminating just gives you this healthy glow I am more of an illuminating girl I love for my skin to just look healthy I love the healthy looking skin and that's what this gives me ten dollars get your goddamn life I don't believe it like this is ridiculous I do see the slight emergence of the crease but nothing that is just like, oh, hell to the no. Um, I personally think LA girls, this formula, they could have gotten away with a good $30 for this. What I will say is that this can go cake real fast if you, if you, you know, especially if you're gonna set it with a setting powder. So don't do that. If you're thinking to use this on a regular everyday basis, one coat is all you need. 
you don't need crazy because they said this is full coverage I wouldn't necessarily agree that it's full coverage I personally would say that it is more of a medium coverage um, for me it's more of a medium full coverage just because I do not have a lot of discoloration on my face just under my eyes and around my mouth but the only thing I would have to say is if you're trying to wear this and go straight out the door I don't know if I would say that. I do think you need to apply it and let it sit. Let it sit on the skin with a primer. I would not recommend this without a primer. And that's for dry girls as well as oily girls. Um, for anyone in this case, I would say use a mattifying primer or just a primer that is oil free. But for the most part, I like it. I mean, I was... I wasn't expecting not to like it let me say that I wasn't expecting not to like it because I really enjoy the concealer so they knew that there was no way that they could bring Shalinda one a disrespectful bad um, foundation I wasn't accepting that like I was getting on the plane tonight okay and it's sleek and pretty and I, I'll, I'll take it I definitely would take it so that is my review for the LA girl foundation if you can get your hands on it they're only ten dollars you can't get no better than that love you guys so much if you I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't done so already please rate comment subscribe be sure to go and check me out on all my social media sites at Shalinda one and I will see you guys in the very next video remember you are bold you are beautiful and most importantly you are blessed boo-boo and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.